Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a custom blank greeting card that can be given to someone with his or her name on the front. You can print out your finished card on a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, photo paper, or even thicker card stock. Once the card is printed, just fold it in half and trim it down. The size of this document is 17 by 11 inches with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. I'll show you at the end of this tutorial how to set your printer so it will print your card to fit the size of your paper. Double click on the background and when the new layer window opens type in base. Go to view and make sure rulers and snap are checked. Press Control or command T to call up your transform tool then click on the ruler and drag out the guideline to the center until it snaps in place. This guideline is the center of your greeting card. The right half will be the front of your card and the left half will be the back. Click on your type tool and then click on the character text box. I'm choosing a font called Gullum Regular which you can download for free at fontmaniac.com. Click on the paragraphs tab. I'm choosing center text. Click on the right side of your document and type in your text. To reposition your text, call up your move tool. Click anywhere on your text and move it. To make the name larger, highlight it and increase the point size. I want to increase the space between birthday and Emily, so with the name highlighted, I'll increase the letting values. If you want to stretch your text, highlight all the words, go to the vertical scale and either type in or slide up the percentage. Continue adjusting the letting of the lines of your text until you're happy. When you're done, you can close the text dialog window. When we stretched our text, it made the horizontal parts of the letters a bit thicker than their vertical parts, so I'll show you a quick way to restore their uniformity. In the Layers panel, press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the text. Press V to call up your Move tool, and then press the left or right arrows on your keyboard a couple of times to move the text layer until the letters feel more uniform in weight. With the top text layer highlighted, shift-click the text layer below it. Then press Ctrl or Command E to merge the two layers together. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of it. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll choose a radius of 10 pixels. Depending on the size, resolution, and characteristics of your font, you may find another amount works better for you. We need to make the blur pretty dense, so press Ctrl or Command J a few times to build copies on top of each other. To merge them together, press Ctrl or Command E until all the blurred copies are merged into one layer. Go to Image, Mode, and Grayscale. Click Don't Merge and Discard. Now go back to Image, Mode, and Bitmap. Press OK. The bitmap output is 72 ppi and the method is halftone screen. We'll choose a round shape and the frequency will be 6 lines per inch. We need to change the file back to RGB, but first we need to convert it to grayscale. The size ratio defaults to 1, just press OK. Now go to Image, Mode, and RGB Color. We need to save the document, go to Layer, and Duplicate Layer. We'll create a new document and I'll type in happy birthday dots. Click the X on the tab to close the document and click yes to save the changes. We'll save it as a JPEG to a location where we can easily find it. I'll choose my desktop. In the history panel we'll restore our document to the step just before we change the mode to grayscale. We can trash the Gaussian Blur layer since we don't need it anymore. Click on File, Open, and since we saved it in the desktop, click on Happy Birthday Dots. 
Press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire image and then Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click back on our tab of the birthday document and then press Ctrl or Command V to paste the birthday dots into it. Open the Channels panel and click on the circular icon at the bottom left. This will make a selection of all the tonal values it sees in the image. Open the Layers panel and click on the New Layer icon. Since we have the selection of the dots active, we can trash the Source layer since we don't need it anymore. We'll rename the layer with the dot selection, Dots. Call up your gradient tool, and I'm choosing the Rainbow preset as a linear gradient. Bring your cursor to the guideline and hold Shift as you click and drag across to the right edge of your document. Then release your mouse or pen. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selection. Click the eyeball on the text to make it visible and then drag it above the dots. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the layer to call up its selection. Click on the new layer icon and then hide the text. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the new layer with white. Drag the layer with the black text into the trash since we don't need it anymore. Let's rename this layer text. Click on the bottom layer and then click on the new layer icon. Call up your single row marquee tool and click approximately halfway between the top of your document and the top of your dots. Go approximately the same distance from the bottom of your document, press shift and click again. Go to Edit and Stroke. Choose 5 pixels, black color, and center. Press Ctrl or Command D to get rid of the selections. Let's make these lines wavy. Go to Filter, Distort, and Wave. For these lines, we'll choose 9 for the generators, 3940 for the wavelength, 1 to 2 amplitude, 100% scale, sign as the type, and we'll wrap around. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the layer to make it into a selection. Click on the New Layer icon and trash the layer with the black wavy lines since we won't be needing it anymore. Call up your gradient tool. Go to the left edge of your document and press Shift as you click and drag across to the opposite side. When you're ready to print it, press Ctrl or Command P. The Print dialog box will open. Click on Print Settings and choose Presentation Printing since that's the best quality. Choose Landscape for the orientation. Click on the Features tab and make sure Landscape is chosen. Choose Scale to Paper Size. Show someone you care, whether it's celebrating a birthday, graduation, new job, or just to say thanks for being you. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.